Hey everyone, I am Nate and welcome back to Hype Up. It's now time for another top 10 list. In today's video, we are gonna be having a look at the top 10 most amazing magic tricks revealed. In at number 10 is Rabbit Out of the Hat. This is one of the oldest tricks in the book. The magic trick makes it look like the magician is pulling a rabbit out of an empty hat. It will involve a big hat that the magician will show the audience is empty sitting on a table. The magician will need to set up for this trick in advance by covering the table in a long tablecloth to hide the bunny that is actually hanging in a cloth bag beneath the table. As the magician flips the hat over to pull the rabbit out, they'll grab the cloth bag containing the rabbit and place it in the hat as they flip it and voila! Do you feel a little silly now knowing that you know the trick? Don't worry, I won't wab it in. Who wrote this script? Puns? There's plural puns. Wabbit season, duck season, wabbit season, duck season, duck season, wabbit season. Looney Tunes. In at number nine is bending a spoon. What? Don't get bent out of shape. This magic trick is actually pretty easy to do and all you need is a coin. The magic trick makes it look like the magician is bending a regular metal spoon totally out of shape and then somehow restoring it in an instant. Already having their secret coin in hand, the magician will place the coin on top of the spoon's handle, making it look like they're only holding the spoon, and press the oval end of the spoon against the table. As they're doing this, they let the handle drop from the back of their hand. Since the tip of the coin will still be showing, it will look like the spoon is horribly bent, and since it never really was, it explains the mysterious instant restoration too. In at number eight is smoke rising from fingers. <laughs> this magic trick is smoking hot. <laughs> oh, you make me want to vomit. If you had dreams of being a wizard as a kid, then this magic trick might be the closest you'll ever get. The magic trick makes it look like the magician produces smoke simply by rubbing their fingers together. The trick is achieved by separating the striker sides of a matchbox from the cardboard lining, folding it in half, and burning it. The white phosphorus residue that is left is what you need to create the smoke. All you need to do is put it on your index finger and thumb and rub them together and boom! You're a wizard, Harry. In at number 7 is... Levitating. Did it look good? Did I nail it? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Nope. It's a floating man. This magic trick gives the illusion that the magician is floating above the ground, usually holding onto something kind of like a staff or pole. But there's no way simply holding a pole could keep someone floating above the ground, right? Wrong. There are actually two metal plates concealed by the magician's clothes and some sort of prop that is in contact with the ground. The magician simply sits on the first platform and holds the pole, creating the illusion of effortlessness. In at number six is... Zigzag. For this magic trick, the magician's assistant will step into a wooden box. The magician will then move the middle section to one side, creating a gap where the assistant's stomach should be. The magician will usually place their head where the stomach should be to show that there are no mirrors adding to the illusion. This might be the most anticlimactic of all the magic tricks on this list. The assistant just needs to be really flexible. That's it. That's the whole trick. Though we should give them credit for the insane amount of training that they would go into this trick, they'd have to ensure that the various body parts that are sticking out of specially placed holes do not move at all as they're contorting their body. In at number five is Floating Woman or Man. <laughs> Much like the levitating magic trick, this one also gives the illusion that a person is suspended in mid-air. The magician will usually use a female assistant for the trick who is wearing a long flowing dress. Hmm, I wonder why. The woman will lay along a plank of wood that is being held up by two chairs on either end. The magician will pull the chairs away and magically the woman will still be laying on the board in mid-air. Turns out that flowing dress, it's actually hiding a mechanical levitation device hooked on to the magician. In at number four is Spike Through the Body. Oh, look at that. I've been impaled. Play that clip from the Frozen. From the Frozen. Ah, yes, I've been on the Facebooks. In this magic trick, it will look like the magician is balancing on the sharp point of a spike. Then they will suddenly drop, seemingly impaling themselves on the spike. They will then be lifted up again, miraculously having no injuries at all. 
The Magician actually has hidden a small platform on the spike, allowing them to rest their body weight while giving the impression they have become a human kebab. Dropping down distracts the audience from the tip of the spike, appearing through a special corset, worn to make it seem as though it has gone through the Magician. In at number three is walking on water. Inspired by the biblical story where Jesus was said to have walked on water, this is an amazing magic trick that gives the illusion that a person is walking along the surface of the water. While it may seem that these magicians are being held up by some holy miracle, the real explanation is actually quite simple. Before the trick is performed, a series of clear perspex boxes are placed in the water, strategically just below the surface. Once submerged, the boxes become virtually invisible. The magician need only walk along the boxes and this amazing magic trick is achieved. It'd be super, super awkward if they slipped though. In at number two is chopping a person in half. Ever heard the phrase, you'd lose your head if it wasn't attached? Well, this magic trick does pretty much that. Usually performed by a magician cutting their assistant in half, the assistant climbs into a long box, lays down, and the magician chops through the box straight down the middle. Yikes. Again though, the explanation behind this magic trick is quite simple, and thankfully not as gory as it looks. There are actually two assistants, one already hidden in the bottom half of the box and will stick their legs out once it is time to do so. When the magician separates the two halves of the box after chopping the person in half, both assistants can wiggle their arms and legs to let the audience know they are fine. Before we reveal what number one is, what do you think of the list so far? Did you already know some of the secrets behind these tricks? Are you a magician yourself? Let us know in the comment section down below. But it is now time for number one. In at number one for the most amazing magic trick revealed is the disappearing Statue of Liberty trick. One of the most amazing large scale magic tricks to be performed was by David Copperfield in 1983. He managed to make the Statue of Liberty disappear completely in front of a live audience. The audience could initially see the statue through two giant pillars, but Copperfield hid behind a curtain soon afterwards. A few minutes later, he dropped the curtain revealing, well, nothing. It was gone. Well, at least that's what everyone thought at the time. Turns out that if you switch all the lights off in the Statue of Liberty, it goes pretty dark. That combined with the spotlight strategically shining into the audience faces gave off the illusion that the statue had in fact disappeared into the dead of night. Did you enjoy the video? If you did, make sure you like, subscribe and check out these other videos over here. I'm Nate, this is Hype Hub, and we'll see you all next time.